Here's how you can use the movie Inception to get people to do exactly what you want them to. I'm gonna tell you right now, I used to be a trial lawyer and this is exactly what we did in the courtroom, but here's how you can do it if you're an entrepreneur or founder and you want people to buy into your idea. The movie Inception is the perfect example of what this should look like. Leo's character at one point talks about an idea being like a virus that once it takes hold, it's almost impossible to eradicate. An idea that is fully formed, fully understood, that sticks. So how do you get an idea to take hold in someone's mind? It comes down to understanding how to build a winning argument. It comes down to understanding how to plant the seed and let the other person feel like they came up with it. You have to think about what are the questions, what are the rhetorical devices that you can do that will make them get to that reality. This is why we talk about storytelling so much. The entire idea of that movie is building out a story for that person when they're in their dream to experience and inside of that story by creating all of the guidelines around it, the characteristics, the buildings, the environment that is at play, the person can then start to let their subconscious do the work themselves. So you have to be able to tell a story that invites somebody to take ownership over it and start thinking, huh, this is how this might work for me. And beyond that, inside of the story, what you wanna do is you want to pose the right questions to somebody. Part of my job as a trial lawyer back in the day was to ask witnesses open-ended questions that felt very safe for them, but I knew exactly where I was leading them. And that's what you wanna be able to do by asking the right questions inside of your storytelling frameworks and world that you build. And those questions can be very open-ended they can be suggestive sometimes. They might even be leading questions if you need to. But sometimes you also have to think about the question flipping it on its head. One of my favorite examples of this is Jeff Bezos, when instead of asking what's going to change in the next 10 years, he flips it and does the opposite and says, what's not going to change in the next 10 years? Simply by putting a not in front of the question, you change the frame and you invite somebody to think about it and plant a seed in their head. The best stories are the ones that they fall asleep at night and can't stop thinking about. They're the ones where you don't give them everything. Let's go to Inception one more time. How does it end? It ends on a cliffhanger where the top is still spinning. You don't know, is he in a dream or is he in reality? And so all you can do is start thinking about it. You go back to the store and you start putting the pieces together and all of a sudden you come up with your own conclusion. You have taken ownership of the idea. You now have a position, an argument that you are making to other people. And that's exactly what you wanna do in business or in life when you're trying to convince somebody. I don't want to tell you what to do. I want you to come up with that answer yourself, which is why when I was in a courtroom, I wasn't telling the jury to go back and find the person guilty when I was a prosecutor. Instead, I would frame it differently where I wasn't trying to force them into something. I was empowering them to answer that question in a different way so that they felt like justice could only be done by finding that person guilty. At the end of a closing argument, I say, you have an opportunity here to change someone's life for better or for worse. The responsibility is yours. And you see, that's totally different than me saying, find the person guilty, find them guilty, find them guilty, which is what so many lawyers did. And that's why they failed. So when you wanna think about convincing someone, go back to the movie Inception. It's a beautiful masterclass on how to do this. You want to give the audience the ability to pull themselves into it. You want to plant the seed, let them water it and let it sprout. When you do that right, you become a master persuader. This is what the best speakers, the best storytellers, the best communicators have all figured out. And it's exactly why I want you to be one of those too. It's why this channel exists. And my guess is it's also why you're watching today. For an even deeper dive, check out this video right here. It's gonna really help you understand exactly what we talked about in this video. Thanks for watching. Check this one out.